Today we're going to talk about lines. There are lots of different types of lines. There are short lines and long lines. Short lines can be used to create texture or small little details. They can also be used to create shading on larger lines. Long lines are created to define a space. They lead the eye in a certain direction and divide the field of view. There are horizontal lines and vertical lines and even diagonal lines. Horizontal and vertical lines make things feel very rigid and a little stiff. Diagonal lines create motion and action and make things more dynamic. They create interest in a work. There are solid lines and dotted lines and dashed lines. You can use any of these different types of lines depending on what you're doing. You might want a clear solid line to define a space or a dotted line to create the impression of a division. There are straight lines and there are curved lines. Straight lines can feel very hard and formal, whereas curved lines can feel very soft and almost cartoony. There are sharp lines and there are blurry lines. Sharp lines are used to create a very clear division of space with hard edges. A blurry line, though, is more cloudy and it can be used to create atmosphere. There are light lines and there are heavy lines. Light lines can be used to make things seem more delicate. They can also be used to layer on top of each other to create heavier spaces. Heavy lines are used, though, when we want things to be more clear and powerful. There are jagged lines and there are smooth lines. Jagged lines create the impression of fear or anxiety or anger. Smooth lines, though, flow. They create a very calm and peaceful or even elegant effect. There are parallel lines that go beside each other, and there are perpendicular lines that meet each other. Parallel lines create a rhythm or a unity in a work, whereas perpendicular lines create clear divisions in a work. Relatedly, crosshatch lines are a series of parallel lines that cross over each other. We use crosshatching to shade and create value and give the illusion of depth in a work. There are thin lines and there are thick lines. Thin lines are used to create details and can make something look very delicate, whereas thick or bold lines are very simple, clear, and powerful. And that's our overview of lines.